Hi, PerspectiveWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Monday, February 11th. An extended and significant winter weather event began last night in much of the Mid-Atlantic region and it will continue into the day on Tuesday. We had accumulating snow north of the Mason-Dixon line and some snow continues at this hour as we begin the day on Monday. New York City was largely spared of round one of this long winter weather event. D.C. metro region had some snow initially, changed over to sleet and freezing rain in the overnight hours. D.C. area right now is at or slightly above the freezing mark with some plain rain falling. Still freezing on some surfaces in the north and west of the district. Over the next several hours, we could actually have a lull or complete stoppage of the precipitation north of the Mason-Dixon line, especially Philly on north. But then round two begins by early tonight with a heavier precipitation event coming from early tonight into the day on Tuesday. I expect uh, up to two to five inches of additional snow accumulation across Philadelphia metro region early tonight uh, into the overnight hours as well as New York City. DC area, I'm mostly concerned about the potential of an ice buildup in the overnight hours, especially north and west of the district. The snow threat down in DC is Pretty much eliminated for now, but again, sleet and freezing rain in the overnight hours. Don't be fooled if temperatures indeed go above freezing during the day. We spoke last week about a key player, very strong Arctic eye building into southeastern Canada. That will actually funnel in colder air from the northeast to the southwest over the next several hours, and temperatures could indeed drop back to or slightly below the freezing mark. Uh, even in D.C. in the overnight hours and certainly north of the Mason-Dixon line. Well, let's go through this as complicated forecast for the next 24 hours or so. Let's start off with the current surface observations. A few important details I want to point out. First of all, notice the wind barbs throughout New England, at least this part of New England, indicating northerly flow of air. And indeed, that is that cold air uh, being funneled by a strong high pressure that is building into southeastern Canada. These wind bars are, are line up with the flow of the low-level winds and again generally from the north to the south here across New England. Also, notice some of these temperatures. 13 degrees upstate New York, uh, 9 degrees northern Vermont. This is some very cold air, hence potential problems for the overnight hours in the DC, Philadelphia, New York City corridor. Precipitation amounts, where the latest radar echoes show, again, wave one or round one uh, represented right here, and that's basically pulling away. There could actually be a stoppage of the precipitation north of the Mason-Dixon line. Probably continues for the next uh, throughout the day today in the D.C. metro region, at least as light precipitation. But then round two showing up here just to the south and west, that expands into the D.C., Philadelphia, New York City uh, uh, region by late in the afternoon, early tonight. And again, it will cause an intensification of the precipitation. We may end up with an inch and a half or so liquid equivalent from here through midday on Tuesday. Quite a lot of precipitation. And with all that cold air around, that spells trouble, especially uh, to the north and west of the district and north of the Mason-Dixon line. Well, here's the latest radar loop that's colorized. Snow is represented by blue. Mixed precipitation, sleet and rain, represented by the pinks. And rain, plain rain, shows up here in the green. Basically snowing from extreme northern Maryland northward to north of the Pennsylvania-Maryland border. Still some snow this morning in southeastern Pennsylvania. All this from wave number one, but all of this to the south and west is flowing to the north and east and will have a significant precipitation event from late today, early tonight, through at least midday on Tuesday. Generally, plain rain falling right now in D.C., but with temperatures at or very close to the freezing mark, especially north and western suburbs, still some freezing on some surfaces. Both areas of Philly and D.C. metro regions should get to maybe 33, 34, 35 degrees during the midday and afternoon hours. Again, but don't be fooled. It should drop back down to the freezing mark or slightly below tonight as that cold high intensifies up across southeastern Canada. 
Well, let's walk through the higher resolution NAM model run from 6Z last night. By the way, these maps from tropicaltibbets.com and the radar map was from IntelliCast.com. As we begin the day, snow continues to fall across extreme northern Maryland, southern Pennsylvania, a little bit of a mixture to the north and west of the district of sleet and freezing rain, plain rain in the district itself and south and the east of there. Let's walk through the next several hours here. And uh, again, the snow may tend to stop across southeastern Pennsylvania as wave number one or round one ends, but all this precipitation is headed in the direction of the I-95 Carter region. New York City largely escaped round one, but they indeed will get into round two. And here we go, uh, intensification of the snow across northern Maryland, southern Pennsylvania late this afternoon, especially by early tonight. A continuation of plain rain for a while in D.C., but then as temperatures drop to freezing or slightly below in the overnight hours, that'll uh, result in freezing rain and even sleet mixing back in across D.C. Accumulating snow continues for several hours across the southern Pennsylvania, and that will expand north and east into the New York City metro region in the overnight hours. But again, uh, south Snow threat is eliminated for the most part, it looks like, but sleet and freezing rain certainly on the table for the overnight hours. Then as we go into the morning on uh, uh, Tuesday, a large area showing up here in purple with sleet will expand north and east into southeastern Pennsylvania, uh, accumulating snow early tomorrow in New York City, and it sleet, uh, excuse me, freezing rain and plain rain in and around the D.C. metro region. Again, my big concern is for an ice buildup in the suburbs of D.C. in the overnight hours into the early morning. More accumulating snow for uh, Philly overnight tonight before it changes to sleet and freezing rain by early tomorrow. And then all areas should eventually change to plain rain in D.C., Philadelphia, and even in New York City during the midday, early afternoon hours on Tuesday, ultimately it could end as a brief period of some frozen precip later on to, tomorrow night, uh, but a lot of uh, frozen precipitation uh, over the next 12 to 24 hours before that plain rain in the middle of the day on Tuesday. Then here we get into the morning on Wednesday. The winds will pick up out of the west to northwest. A couple of residual rain or snow showers early Wednesday morning, but for the most part it will become partly sunny and precipitation free for the bulk of the day on Wednesday. Well, one last set of charts I'd like to show is the uh, actual 2 meter temperature, or basically the surface temperatures as depicted by the 6Z NAM model here. Starting off the day, upper 20s across southeastern Pennsylvania near the freezing mark in DC. Now, let's move forward here in hourly increments. Uh, these maps again from tropicaltibbets.com. Back to the, the mid-30s by the middle of the day today in D.C. and perhaps 33, 34 degrees across southeastern Pennsylvania. But don't be fooled. Even though we get above freezing today, doesn't mean it cannot drop below freezing tonight. In fact, I believe with that Arctic high building into southeastern Canada, we will indeed drop back down to the freezing mark or slightly below, even as far south as a DC metro region. Here we are into the early part of the evening, back down already to freezing across Philly and New York and headed to freezing right at this particular time in the overnight hours across DC. And it'll uh, stay right around the freezing mark or slightly below, right into the early morning hours on Tuesday. Here we are now, 7 a.m. Tuesday morning, freezing near DC, Philadelphia, a little below freezing across New York City. And then as we get into the midday and early afternoon hours in, uh, uh, on Tuesday, plain rain likely from D.C. to Philadelphia to New York City in that immediate I-95 corridor. So to recap, first of all, in D.C., the threat for accumulating snow has largely been eliminated. We'll monitor that prospect throughout the day today. Uh, uh, some light plain rain for the next several hours perhaps freezing still on some surfaces north and west, but then in the overnight hours, as temperatures drop back to the freezing mark or slightly below, watch out for an ice buildup, especially to the north and west of the district, and uh, certainly there can be some impact 
on the uh, Tuesday morning commute in the D.C. metro region. Plain rain there for the midday and afternoon. And by the way, winds will pick up uh, quite noticeably on Tuesday. In Philadelphia and New York City, accumulating snow likely late today, early tonight, continuing into the overnight hours before it changes over to sleet for a while and then freezing rain. Perhaps two to five additional inches of snow in the Philly metro region uh, overnight tonight and two to five inches of snow for New York City as well in the overnight hours. All of those areas north of the Mason-Dixon line will see a period of sleet and then freezing rain early Tuesday, and uh, then ultimately plain rain there during the midday and afternoon. Certainly, the evening commute today can be uh, tricky on untreated surfaces in Philly uh, area, uh, and uh, certainly tomorrow morning's commute in Philly and New York City certainly can be impacted by snow and overnight uh, ice as well. So a lot going on here, a complicated forecast. Extended wintry weather event continues right into the day on Tuesday. That's it for now. I'm ProspectiveWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian.